Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys very much for being here. I appreciate it. And I hope everybody is doing well today. Happy Thursday. Third Coast Mermaid, Tawan, good morning to you. And welcome to the stream. Uh, we have mail. Let's go check our mail. This is a ring we put in a crafting order for uh, yesterday afternoon. So that's going to be a 263. Uh, we're replacing a 415 with a, two six, with a 463. That's going to be a pretty huge, pretty big bump to our item level for one item. Patrick, Ami, good morning. Welcome, guys. We're almost uh, 450. We have a, a mythic. We have a 14 key for Murazan's rise. I feel like this is a good day for me to find the NPC that's supposed to help me bring this key level down. I'd like to bring this back down to like, I don't know, maybe an 11. Like a 10 or 11 would be okay. We we did a, an 11 yesterday. Uh, Leah, we we did a 11 Everbloom. We did a 10 Darkheart Thicket. And those are obviously the highest that we've done. I like how it keeps track of all this. This is really cool. Like, it tells you how much rating you've, you've gotten from the dungeon. And it tells you like the last like level you completed at the highest level. Level 8, level 10. And it also has the time that it took you to beat it. I really like that it's all organized right here. Uh, so yeah, like, I don't know. If I bump it down to like a 10 or 11, that'd be cool. But I, I have no idea where that where that NPC is at. So, for now, maybe I'll just look for someone else's key. Lindormi is the NPC. Lindormi. Let me see if I can uh, get eyes on her on Wowhead. Uh, let's see. That's a picture of a map. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I can find her. Let's see. She looks like she's near the central staircase. Like somewhere right here in this area. Let's go have a look. She's next next to the timeways. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think I might bump that down. I might I might jump into somebody else's key. But I do want to bump that key down a little bit. Uh, timeways. Here we go. It's a great day to visit a dungeon. Uh, my mythic keystone level is too high. Can you reduce it? Okay, she she just did it. Um, it it, it drops it by one one level. <clears throat> let's let's see Tell it again. Another story sometime. Yeah, one level. I'm gonna drop it down to an eleven. Hope you find lots of treasure out there. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's really nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Alright, so we, we could do that key. That's We've done Murazon's Rise like so many times. That I, I feel like maybe we can do some other stuff. Let's see what's out there. A plus 22. I don't think I'm ready for that. Plus 26. I'd like to sneak into something that's got like most of its people already. That'd be cool. W wouldn't we all? Yeah, these are really high keys. Let's maybe if I do... Can I do like... 5 to 11? Let's, let's try 5 to 11. Yeah, I don't really know how to work the search criteria. That's a problem. I wish I could do like 11 and it would find everything up to 11. It kind of did. 12 Waycrest Manor. I... maybe I'll sign up for this one. I did 8 and it's like 8, 18, 28. It threw a 7 in just to just for variety. Plus 
plus five black rock hold. It wouldn't be awful. Is there a reason that I see like more more Murazon's rise dawn of the infinite than I see like anything else? I feel like that's like mainly the one that I see the most of. Galakrond's fall and Murazon's rise seem to be the most often run mythics. Did I finish the campaign? Are you talking about the Emerald the Emerald Dream campaign? I finished all the campaign stuff on my shaman. I I haven't finished the campaign on this character yet. Uh, maybe I will like eventually. I probably could be doing that during like downtime, but yeah. Maybe I'm going to end up listing my own key. Maybe that's going to happen. I should probably do, like, uh, early in the morning, I probably should do, like, other stuff. Like, maybe I should be trying to gear my Paladin up right now. My Paladin needs, like, so much gear to even get into Mythics. I think we started doing Mythics on this character when we were, like, 415. And 415 was probably, like, arguably too low to be doing Mythics, but I got I got convinced to do it. But our Paladin is, like, he, he just hit 70, he's parked in the Emerald Dream, I started doing, like, the intro quest. And he's got zero gear. I wonder if in the mornings I should be working on him, and then like as we get into the afternoon, like as more people are, are signing on to play Mythic, maybe I should be transitioning into Mythic runs like in the afternoon. That would be smart. If I could drag myself out of bed earlier, I could do like a two hour morning stream, we could work on the Pally, I, I could take a break, we can come back in the afternoon and do some Mythics. But I'd actually have to like get out of my bed at like a decent time for that. Which has been really hard recently. What's my item level? Uh, we're right here. Four, 449 right now. Dustin, good morning, man. Thoughts on the Mista Pandaria remix? I do have thoughts on the Mista Pandaria. Now that I've done the reading... <laughs> now that I... Initially, I was simply disappointed that it wasn't... Mista Pandaria Vampire Survivors. But eventually I got over my disappointment. And I did the reading. And I watched part of a Bellular video. And I watched part of an Asmin video. So now I have a lot of information about what it actually is. And I do have thoughts about it. And maybe maybe I'll share those thoughts. Let, let me let me see if I'm ready to share those thoughts yet. Initial thoughts. I I, I like it. That's my initial take. <laughs> I, I, I like what I've seen so far. It seems like it's going to be like a really unique way to level up a character. <clears throat> Coolest thing about it, the thing that like kind of makes it worthwhile is that you get to eventually take that character that you level up in the event and they get to become a, a dragon flight or war within character. Like you, you get to keep your character progress level wise. So that's really awesome, that you could take a character through a cool event, it's probably time limited, and you hit 70, and then you come out the other side with an actual level 70 for the retail game. That's the best part about it. Buffalo Bill, 22 months, man. That is a really long time. Thank you for being here for it, I really appreciate it, and good morning. Happy Thursday. So yeah, like, oh, the thing is, hey, it's hitting PTR tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, the Mist of Pandaria remix is going on the Dark Heart PTR. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I read. And if it goes on PTR tomorrow, that'll be one o'clock my time. We are going to test it. It's going to be up over the weekend, I think. Let me see if, I, if I've got this straight or if I'm just like talking out my butt. Uh, let's see, we will be testing. Oh no, maybe it's, yeah, April... Yeah, yeah, April 12th, which is tomorrow. 
10 a.m. PDT, which is 1 o'clock Eastern Time, my time. And then testing ends on Sunday at 10 p.m. PDT, which is, uh, which is 1 a.m. my time. We're, we're going to test this. Yeah, I'm really excited to get in and, and check it out. So, like, I, I hardly ever do, like, PTR stuff, but we're doing this. Do I have a guild on st No, I don't. I don't have a- I do not have a retail guild. Willing to buy retail guild. <laughs> Chris, Stan, good morning, a good afternoon, guys. Welcome. No, I- I'm ungilded. Which shouldn't really shock anybody. I need to figure out how to turn these into raid frames. I combed all through my options, my interface options, and I could not find the way to turn these into raid frames. I have like raid frames checked, I have like power bars checked, class colors enabled, but I, I can't get it to, to do it. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah, it should be an option. Yeah, it should be an option. I, I swear I looked. We'll look for it when we get a break, but... I, I, I looked through it. I, I did a search. I found, like, I found the power bar options. I found the show class color option. But there just didn't seem to be an option simply to enable it. Simply to, like, turn it on. Uh, so, yeah, maybe you guys will see something in the interface that I missed. As I am, like, notorious for missing obvious stuff in the interface. Ever since they changed the interface options to like the new menus, I'm like, I've been lost ever since. I had memorized where everything was at in the old menu scheme. And having to memorize like a new menu like setup was like, ugh. Ooh, that was not what I wanted. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we're not going to be able to do it in a mythic. <laughs> if I want to actually like do any kind of performance here, I'm not going to be able to look at the interface right now. Aminea, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I've been tagged. I have to get over here, I think. Yep. Time itself cannot stop me! Your lifespan is mine! You gotta go to layout and then click party frames. Go to layout. Layout. Is that like like the layout of the actual Yeah, I'll have to look at it after the run. I, I can barely I can barely perform as it is. If I distract myself here, it's it's just gonna get so much worse. In edit mode, okay, okay, yeah, okay. That's one place I didn't look. I didn't look in edit mode. We'll uh, we'll check it out. Just not right now. You must destroy any anomalies that appear. We cannot have them first. Wait, think the infinites went to Nosdormo? I do not know. They have often tried to come. Must be far in the past then. They risk unraveling all of time as we know it. Indeed. But they will stop at nothing to ensure the rise of my darkest self. You resound. So I, I moved the DPS meter <clears throat> over here to the left. 
Uh, let me know if that's like annoying there for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I, I had it over here, but then like then I can't see part of my log, and I, I have to keep minimizing the quest log out. It gets really uh, tedious. Ideally, I would have the DPS meter up top here, but that would require me to be able to move my raid frames down like somewhere else. That felt, that felt really sloppy. <laughs> is my healer raging yet? I haven't had any healers rage yet. I feel like healers are just like... Probably just really sad people who rage internally. Because healing doesn't seem like it's very fun or rewarding. And I do feel bad for like every healer that I group with. But yeah, I, I haven't had them rage. In fact, I, I'm not sure they're capable of it. If they were capable of like outwardly expressing rage into the game, they probably wouldn't heal. Or they wouldn't be healers for very long. I feel like it's a tank's job to rage. Like that's more of like something a tank would do. You shall not interfere with our infinite dawn. They're asking skip? Uh, oh, we're doing a lock skip. Oh, this is fun. I don't know how to do this. Okay, okay, we're skipping. Now I feel like a true mythic player. Now that we're doing all the fancy warlock skips. I have tracked the infinites to a place, a moment where I dare not tread. You're not coming with us? I shall be with you, Recepts, but not as you know me now. I have faith. And even should Nurazan rise, know that all is not lost. That corpse above us, it's... it's Galakrond. He must have just fallen. He was the biggest proto-dragon ever. His hunger nearly consumed all of dragon kind. We've gone back before the aspects were even the aspects. We have to find the uh proto aspects. They'll know what to do.
Karen, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Sound question mark? What about the sound? <laughs> sound sound question mark is not a not a coherent query. Nor does it have enough details for me to deduce anything or take any actions. Sound question mark? Uh, I don't know. How is the sound? Is the sound okay? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? I have all these questions now. There is no sound. Strange. That's strange. I, 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 everyone else hears sound, so it's probably something on your end. Yeah, especially if you just heard me. If you just heard me, there was some kind of sound. I mean, you re you replied to me. <laughs> so yeah, it might be something on your end though. Yeah, every everybody else seems to think it's okay. So yeah, check check your sound settings. I'm a mythic Andy now. Yeah, like pretty pretty dang near. Absolutely. You can't hear anything. Well, that might be, uh, you know, maybe some kind of physical thing. It's either physical or mechanical. The problem is between the, uh, the chair and the keyboard. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I hope that works out. So, like, I don't know if maybe maybe the healer did not heal Chromie? 
I, I've never gotten killed quite so quickly there. So, uh, yeah, not really sure, not really sure what happened. We all have to soak. Tank gets his own. We all have to soak something. What are they talking about? I, I've never had this be a very complicated. You stand in the circle there. I didn't see a circle. Was it the circle that I that I ran out of because I was suddenly inside of a circle? Is that the circle I have to stand in? Yeah, Eva, you know, before a couple days ago, I'd never done a mythic before in my life. Yeah. It, it, like, chat kind of talked me into it, but then once I started, it was really easy just to get into lower key groups and just kind of go with it. I started with like a 415 gear score. I, and I clearly still don't know any of the fights, and I've, I've been reaching some kind of success somehow. Yeah, I, I know like when, the, when she does her big shield, we run to Chromie. I didn't see her pop her big shield. I lost sight of her. I was trying to watch out for her to pop her big shield. I didn't see it go up. I tried to stand near her, her but I, I feel like she relocates during the fight. Like, like, I can see her right now. She's right in front of us, so I'll try to keep an eye on her. Okay, here we go. Yeah, now we run here. Okay, yeah, I just missed her last time. I didn't see... She teleported somewhere and I didn't see her. Seems like maybe I shouldn't stand in whatever that is. We, we still lost somebody. I'm not, I'm not sure why we just lost somebody. Oh, okay. Uh, I have never- I've done this- I've done this fight a ton of fucking times. Sorry, excuse me. I've, <laughs> I've- I'm trying not to curse today. I've done this fight a lot. In the past couple days, and I've never had this problem with it, so... There are two pillars in front of Chromie that you need to soak. Why- why is it like- how is it possible... That I've done this fight a handful of times and this has never been an issue. Maybe because I was the only person who didn't know, like everybody else knew, but now I'm in a group with somebody else who doesn't know. Like me and me and somebody else don't know what to do and that's enough to insta-wipe the fight. Because yeah, we've done this a bunch. This is not our first time here. It's so like, it's, it's kind of gross to me that like, <clears throat> nothing about what you see in the game tells you what to do. They really, really have to figure out <clears throat> how to make the game telegraph visually what it expects you to do. Because I'm not going to download any add-ons. I'm not going to play with add-ons. I got, I got details and immersion and that's the only add-ons that I'm going to run with. I'm not going to download an add-on to tell me what to do. They, they just need to figure out how to, like, within their game, have the game show you what's going on. In, in their game, everything looks like something to get out of. That's how they do all of, all of their ground effects. Say, get out! Get out! That's what it triggers up here. They need to do something else with their ground effects when it's a come in. Come in. There needs to be another, another way to express it. If I have an arrow above me, go to Chromie's shield. I, I'm not, like, the Chromie's shield part seems fine. Something happens after Chromie's shield. Don't avoid second circle. Like, I don't even know. There's circles everywhere. That's the problem. Everything is a circle. That's my, that's my biggest gripe. Everything is either a big circle or a little circle or it's a circle with a rune in it or it's a circle with stuff sprouting out. Everything's a circle. Like, don't get it. <laughs> avoid first circle. Avoid all odd numbered circles unless they exceed a maximum diameter of 12 feet. If odd circles are more than 12 feet in diameter, then stand in circle. If even circle, always stand in unless circle is smaller than 5 yards and continuously moves. And then avoid. Yeah, I need like, I need the flow chart. Of like how to figure out what I do in a circle like okay big circle and moving okay I stand in it big circle and not moving okay get out of it like It's a little bit silly the guy died because he didn't go to the shield. I that's that's more that makes more sense. Yeah uh, Brown circle person with circle over chromie then we all group in chromie circle except tank They're They're trying to explain it the, it's the weirdest thing to do a dungeon a bunch of times, have no problems with it, and and then suddenly 
and then suddenly we just can't do it. <laughs> we just can't do it. This dude says, if I DC, I'm not mad. <laughs> That's what our tank just said. If I DC, I'm not mad. No, if you DC, you're, you're just a jerk. Like, yeah, you're probably not mad. Like, how could you get mad? You're just a jerk. You, you don't have the patience to stick it out. Okay, I'm in. I'm in going in Chromie circle. I'm in. I'm in Chromie. Here we go. Okay, I have avoided that. That's cool. We're good. I'm go now. What about this? I gotta get in here. That didn't work. <laughs> Only I died that time. I thought you said soak the second circle. <laughs> Everyone else was grouped up in the same spot. Why was I the only person to take damage? You know what? I don't fucking care. L l l I'll, I'll, it's fine. It's fine. I did it right, but I died. So I didn't do it right. I did something wrong. If I had not stood in it, I would have lived. Maybe someone else would have died. Uh, I don't even want to come back into the fight now. It's it's. I've been out of it too long. There's no reason... I've done zero damage in this fight. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah, I don't know how I could have possibly done that part right and been the only person that died. Like, that doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, that seems kind of busted. Oh, well. I'm sure next time it'll go completely differently. We, we won't have any problems with it. I'm not standing in anything this time. I am I am going to peace out of this area and they if they want to all stack up and get murdered, that's on them. If I hadn't stood in it, Chromie would have died. Well, that's cool. I sacrificed myself for Chromie, I guess. I would have rather got to DPS the fight. Not that I wouldn't feel bad for Chromie, but... Uh, ooh. I don't think I need... Ooh, well... Yeah, I mean... I, I think what I have on is better just because, like, what I have on, I can upgrade more. No, I don't... And maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Haste and Mastery or Crit and Mastery. I think I want to keep my Crit. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna equip this. And now, it, now it's permanently stuck in my UI. There's, there's no bugs. Do, someone says, do I need that chest? No, I don't, I don't need this chest. Uh, who are you? Which, which person are you? Oh, damn it. I lost my whisper with them when I reloaded. Uh, now I don't know who the heck it was that uh, messaged me. There's a warlock. Can I trade them? Uh, yeah, I don't- I don't think I need this. I don't think I want the stats. I can't- wait, wait, wait. It's soulbound. I don't know what happened. It's soulbound for some reason. I don't know what I did. I can't trade it. Okay. That makes sense. Why- why- it's just soulbound? Yeah, I think I want to keep the crit for for frost. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I can't trade it. Oh, if it's a higher level item, I just can't trade it. Well, that's that's kind of crappy. So even though I don't need it, I'm not going to equip it. I wasn't able to give it to that person. That system is not very good. In a, in a system where like certain stats are simply better for your spec, that. That should have let me trade it to that guy. Because, yeah, I want to keep what I have, because what I have is actually better for my spec. Like, even though this is a higher item level, like, I don't think I need... I don't think I need haste that much. I think I need crit more than haste. So, yeah. It's a cool, like, tunic-looking thing, though. That's pretty cool that it's not, like, a robe. I like the collar on it. It might be cool for transmog. Uh, okay. Oh, speaking of rings, I, I need some gems. I probably just need the same gems that I have in here. 
Uh, keen Neltherite. I need some Keen Neltherite. Uh, the key I have right now is a level 11 something or another. It's like Murazon's Rise. It's the same ones that we've been doing back to back to back. Um, I can't find my key for the life of me. Maybe my key got yeeted and deleted here. I wish that I, I could kind of like organize these into like sections. Like I want resources here. I want loot here. Uh, I want consumables here. Like I wish I could organize this a little bit better. It was a it was a level 14. Uh, this morning I bumped it down from 14 to 11 because I, I don't think we're ready for a 14, but we can definitely do... I just, I'm, I'm, I'm so sick of doing Murazon's Rise and Galakron's Fall. I, I feel like those are the only ones that we've been doing. And yeah. Okay, yeah, edit mode now. Let's let's see if we can... I'm not in a party. <laughs> it's not going to let me do it unless I'm in a party. Like, there's no way to emulate, like, being in a party. Oh, here we go. Raid frames. Yes. Okay. And then, like, ideally, I, I want this, like, somewhere, like, maybe down here is okay real estate for it. And then I can move this stuff up to the top. I wish this little sidebar would move with it. Like that's it's annoying that this is this is, it's stuck where it's at, right? It it doesn't move. So that's a little bit annoying. Um Oh, oh, ooh, no. What's a what's a talking head? Okay. Oh, that's the the quest bar. Uh cast bar is fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's boss frames. Let's save it like this. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. I need I need gems. I need a couple of uh, keen netherite. Our flight has much to offer. Thank you for sharing. The party frames are different than the raid frames? I thought like by doing that I enabled I enabled raid frames. That's how it used to be. Like you enabled raid style frames and those were the frames you got. Yeah, no, see my party frames are here. Like I don't I don't want party frames. I only want raid frames. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want party frames. I want them to not exist. I, I only want these. Yeah, that's... That's gonna be a problem. Like, ev I guess even if maybe if it's gonna exist, maybe I just move it down here a little bit. Like, maybe that's better. I don't know. It's a real, it's a real bummer that there used to be really easy functionality built into the options. Like, I used to be able to very easily do what I wanted. And then they change all the options, they add a complicated edit mode, and now I, it's like it's imp it's like near impossible for me to do exactly what I want. I've been all through the settings. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, we, we can go into the- we can look in the settings all day, like... I've, I've been all through the settings. It's not, there's nothing else, there's nothing else for me to do in the settings. Like, I, this is like the only part that talks about raid frames. Power bars, incoming heals. Like, it used to be, you'd have a button here that said, use raid style party frames. That was a literal button. Use raid style party frames. And you would click that. And then when you got into a party, you had raid style party frames. It was crazy. It's nuts. So so we're just we're just gonna leave it. I'll check if we get into a party, I can investigate other stuff, but I'm done messing with it. Uh okay, let's see. I, I don't know if I want to list my key yet. Galakron's fall. All all of the Galakron's fall. If I had a different key that wasn't like Galakron's Fall or Mirazon's Rise, I would uh, 
Like a Throne of Tides? A plus five pump? I don't know what a pump is in this regard, but let's, let's plus five pump. I guess, if we can. Uh, what else? Fourteen, uh, fourteen? Yeah, sure, okay. Um... Open party frames and click them. Uh, when, may, I'll have to probably wait until we get into a party to do it. A 15 Darkheart Thicket. I don't know why I'm signing up for these, like, big keys. There's not really a lot of smaller keys going on. Throwing a Tides 2. Like, 2 is really small. I don't think I need a 2. Can we do, like... Like a plus, like, 8? It's, is there is it better loot out of Mirazan's Rise and stuff? Are the Dawn of the Infinite like dungeons like are they just better loot and that's why people do them or is there like some reason why that that I just don't know? What is this want to sell? Are they allowed to solicit like this? Willing to sell Mythic Plus free loot? It's not fr How can it be free if you're selling it? Can someone explain that to me? Can- how- how can something be free if you're willing to sell it? I mean, they've like filled up, uh, looking for group with it. But if you're paying for any- if you're paying for the run through, then that just means you're paying for the loot. Like, if- if something is for sale, then no part of it- you can't just say, well, you know, I'm gonna sell you the run, I'll give you the loot for free, but you're gonna buy the run. Okay, well, then I'm buying the loot. I'm buying the loot and the run, like in that case. You're not- you're not giving me anything for free. If you just want to run me through the dungeon without there being like a monetary transaction taking place, that would be- that would be free. Maybe I have to list my own key here, we're- we're not really having any luck. I- uh, yeah, a, a plus eight Atel Dazar would be good, I only have a plus two for that. Dark Heart Thicket would be okay. I really am getting tired of the of the dawn of the Galakrons rise and fall and stuff like that. All right, why would you buy a run without the loot? <laughs> I mean, I, I let listen. It's semantics. I understand what they're doing. They're trying to make you feel like you're getting something for nothing. Okay, now this is where like I, I don't I don't want these. What am I supposed to do to get rid of this? Edit mode. Can I, can I just... Oh, here we go. Here, we, here, there we go, we did it. Awesome. Perfect. There it is. Problem solved. Thank you, I appreciate it. Lael, good afternoon, buddy. <clears throat> What other class would I bring to Mythic? Eventually I'm gonna bring my Paladin, my Rep Pally. He's capped now, he's parked in Emerald Dream, he's kinda chilling. I started doing the quest on him <clears throat> for Emerald Dream, so... Whenever I can find time, I probably should be working on him in the early morning hours, and then as we get later into afternoon, like after lunch break, then I should probably come back and run Mythic Plus. Because obviously, like, the number of people running Mythic is gonna increase throughout the day. So yeah, I, I'll probably start bringing my, my paladin out in the mornings. Well, I, the only real way I know how to gear a character up to like, to like 420 or so is to do like all the, all the story quest in Emerald Dream, to do the side quest in Emerald Dream, to do the world quest in Emerald Dream, 
uh, to start queuing up for five mans, like doing normal five mans. Like I, I really don't know of a really great way to get my Pally like quickly geared up. There probably are like ways to do it that I'm just not aware of. I mean, short of short of simply buying him a bunch of gear, I guess. Like, I guess if I wanted to spend money, I could probably just, like, I could probably go into crafting orders. And I could probably just cra get a bunch of gear crafted for him. Assuming I have the upgrade items, which I, I probably don't have too many. Third Coast Mermaid, thanks for being here. Have a good rest of your day. Lael, I inspired you to play retail, so you broke down and bought War Within. <laughs> Dude, I haven't even bought War Within yet. I feel so bad. I'm gonna- I'm gonna get it at the end of the month before beta comes out so that I can at least get into the beta. I gotta drop that 90 bucks. Assuming my wife lets me do that. So, I- I think she'll understand. But yeah, it's- it, I gotta do it. Uh, like, next week I think I'll- I'll- I'll do it. Because, yeah, I- I'd like to have it already, you know, they're- they're hanging- they're holding, like, beta access and, like, he head start access, like, dangling it, you know? Oh, we got a healer. We're waiting on a tank. They're dangling that beta access and they're dangling or a head start. So I gotta I gotta get the $90 package. Yeah, Mythic Plus has been, has been a lot of fun. Oh man, I'm so happy to be like doing these dungeons. It's been so good. It's been a lot of fun. Especially compared, like, I, I had been getting, I had been feeling so down about like Sod and like how I wasn't having fun with Sod, how I, I couldn't like figure out how to put in the effort to like enjoy it. And I started to think like, damn, like why do I got, why do I have to put in effort to enjoy it. There should be a minimal amount of effort and I should just be able to start enjoying a video game. And that's what Mythics has been. It was a Mythics, it was a little bit of effort to like get into it, to like get over the insecurities of it and to figure out like where to click what to type. But like after the initial learning happened, it's all been fun. Even during the initial learning, it was still fun. You know, because mainly because I didn't get met with like any toxicity. Uh, we got somebody at the stone. I'm really bad at remembering which one we're doing. I need to start like paying more attention to like what group I actually get into when it pops up. Um, let's see if they're like, <clears throat> if they're out in the world. No, they went through the timeways, so I guess, yeah, I guess I gotta go to the timeways. Yeah, the, well, there we go, that's nice of them. Yeah, when, it, when they offer you like the Epic Edition for 90 bucks, like you, nowadays, nowadays you just know you have to buy the, the full edition. Because like, if you don't buy the full edition, you're gonna be missing out on something. They're, they're really getting people. It's really easy to get people with that fear of missing out. It's like integral. Uh, let's go inside and then we will... Do we need to flask? Yeah, we died a couple times, so I'm sure we need buff food. And I'm sure we need uh, to flask up. I'm gonna use the versatility flask and I'm gonna pop this up to one hour. You have to, if you're gonna buy War Within, and this is like, I, I'm just gonna say this. If you're gonna spend any money at all on War Within, you have to buy the $90 version. Don't buy the $60 version, the $70 version. Uh, with, with the $90 version, you are not only guaranteed to get into the beta at some point before release, but there also there's also a a three or four day head start that you're going to get. And if you're a WoW player, like the game is live when, as soon as people can play it. So if you are if you buy any version besides the 90, you're gonna be three days late and it's gonna feel bad. Even if you're a person that doesn't rush, even if you're a person that doesn't care, like it's gonna feel bad to have paid $60 for the game, but to still have to wait three days after everyone else is already playing it. So if you're gonna spend any money at all on War Within, like it sucks to say it, but you just kinda have to, you have to pay the 90 bucks. Otherwise, you're just not getting the value. And you're gonna be sad when everyone else is playing the game and you're just kinda sitting there waiting three more days for your, your time to play. You know, it's gonna feel really, really bad. 
And it's it's a shitty marketing tactic. Tactic. I don't I don't like that they exploit FOMO that way. I think it's like, I think it's nefarious. But it is what it is. I thought I hit my in buff. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lael, did I see the new mop thing? Yeah, I finally read about it yesterday, and I, uh, I watched a couple videos. I watched a Bellular vid, and I watched a little bit of the Esmond video. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks really freaking cool. At first, I was simply disappointed that it wasn't going to be a Vampire Survivors-like. Uh, but after learning what it really is, it, it's really awesome. And the cool thing is, I think the fact that they're doing this for Mr. Pandaria means that we're not we're not going to be seeing a Mr. Pandaria classic. I, I think that the like the standard ship the expansion classic experience is going to end with Cataclysm, and I really think that's for the best. Uh, this Mr. Pandaria thing that they're doing in retail seems so much cooler than just releasing Mr. Pandaria Classic. It ties directly into your retail, so like you're gonna come out the other side of the Mr. Pandaria thing with a retail character that's at that's at level cap going into War Within, uh, and it's really good. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to check it out. It's going on the PTR tomorrow, and we're, we're going to check it out on PTR, and we're going to test it out, and we're going to provide feedback. Yeah, it seems like a good idea for expansions after Kata. Yeah, Colonel Boomer, exactly. That's exactly right. That's what I was thinking. It's like, why, why do, a, why do a, a, a classic launch on, on stuff that's not classic? Why, why bother? When you can do something really, really cool, uh, there's going to be exciting loot. There's, you're going to be able to do all the content, you know what I mean? Like... It's not going to be like the time walking campaigns built into retail now. Like you're going to get to go through all the content. Uh, you're going to have like new exciting powers, new exciting loot. It's like Season of Discovery, Mr. Pandaria, uh, but with the focus in the right place. Because at the end of the day, y you're working on retail progression. And retail progression is mainly like the only kind of progression that's ever going to matter like going into the future, you know? Like your, your classic characters, they have an end date. Your, your classic characters have a best if used by date. And after that, your classic characters are gonna sit, and they're they're not gonna they're not gonna be played. They're just gonna sit. You're gonna slowly forget about them over time. Uh, they're gonna die in whatever era classic stops progressing, and and that's it. But if you're progress if you're making retail progression, uh, then that that retail progression gets to keep going into WoW's future. That's kind of the point we're at. That's kind of that's kind of the point we're at. This the Mr. Pandarius thing is coming out in the next patch. Yeah, somebody didn't do something. Somebody somebody was very bad. Uh, that killed our food buff, which is like a, that's a big bummer, obviously. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, Some, somebody pulled extra. I don't think we pulled extra, but it was possible. It's possible that I did that. I don't think that was my fault though. Yeah, I think it's going to be sometime. It might not. Well, they're testing it this month. It, it might be like early May. Frost Shield. I, I think for I think Ice Barrier was on cooldown. If that's what you're referring to, we're fine. It was a group wipe, so like me me staying alive for another second wasn't going to do anything. Uh, and now I don't remember the skip we took. Is this it? It seems to be okay. I found the skip. But yeah, anyway, we, we could talk more about the mist thing maybe later, but uh, I should probably focus for now. But that being said, I, I will be testing it tomorrow when it comes out of the PTR. It should be like 1 o'clock my time. So like tomorrow we'll do we'll do a morning stream. We'll probably be right back here doing Mythics, and then I'll take a little break. We'll come back around 1 p.m. and we will test out this Mist of Pandaria time-running remix thing. And it, it seems like it's going to be really, really cool. And it, it bodes really well for like the future of the game because imagine like if they do these they can you know now we have the mist one eventually we can do a legion one. Uh, imagine being able to play through like all the legion order hall stuff to level up again, and actually getting to see the order halls like in a functioning way. Defilers. I can smell the nightmare in your blood. Be gone from these woods or suffer nature's wrath.
Defilers. So it is you who have befouled these woods with a nightmare. By tooth and claw, be purged! I sense a powerful druid among you. You dare to challenge my... I am the vessel of nature's fury! What is that you hold, druid? Nature's fury incarnate! You fight with the fury of Ursok himself! No, I will not be defeated! By tooth and claw, be purged! Not bad. We didn't we didn't do bad in that fight uh, for me being so distracted. Yeah, I'm I'm really hyped for the mist thing. At first, like I said, at first I was disappointed because it wasn't going to be a vampire survivors like. <laughs> but then it's 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 so much better for that. Like for the game itself, like it, it being what it is opens a lot of doors like into the future. And the most importantly, it, it just means that we don't have to have a Mist of Pandaria classic. We we don't have to keep releasing classic expansion after classic expansion. Uh, they can do cool experiments like this and do a little remix thing, give us some cool powers, do some awesome transmog, uh, and make that make that character at the end of the event, like, let them come into retail and let them come and be part of the base game. Which, you know, is something like, like Season of Discovery, like, those characters are gonna eventually be dead there. Uh, you know, all your classic characters that you play today, like, eventually when the classic experiment stops, which it seems like it will with Kata, uh, eventually those those characters are not going to go anywhere you're not going to get to progress them into retail you're never going to take them into actually new content they're just going to live and die right where they're at and so doing these little remix events like it, it helps because you get to kind of like see an old expansion you get to see the story and stuff but in like a new fun exciting way uh, and then you get to have a, a, a retail character at the end of it all which is great I'm excited to like be able to see the patch content, be able to see the raids. Like I, I quit during Mr. Pandaria after getting to max level. Like me and my friend, we like super quickly leveled up some pandas. We did it in a couple of days. We got them to cap. We started doing like some five man stuff, and there was like a holiday event going on for like a trinket or something. Like I, I burned myself out really bad, and I, I, I quit. I quit the game in Pandaria. And I literally, I never did the five men's, I, I never did the raid content, I didn't see the patch content, like, I didn't get to see the story play out, you know, except through watching videos about the story on YouTube. And so, yeah, like, for me, like, Mist is kind of like a, like a blind spot in, in my, like, history of WoW. So that's gonna be really cool. And, and then like it's not like you're just you're not just reliving it as like a time walking campaign that's the other cool thing it's like they're innovating from like a gameplay perspective like the the gameplay is going to be different there's going to be like new loot better loot fun abilities like they're just like changing it up so it's not like you're just playing through a time walking trying to like read all the quests and just like doing it for that reason like the gameplay side of it seems really fun as well and they and they seem like they have some good like reward structures and like the way they're gonna have like the way they're gonna have the gear that you don't need it breaks down into bronze and you can use the bronze to buy transmogs you can use the bronze to buy other gear like they, they seem like yeah it seems like it's gonna be a good time 
We'll find out how fun it is tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's these kinds of ideas and, and Plunderstorm too, because you know I know people give Plunderstorm like they give it guff. They don't like it. Some people don't like Plunderstorm. Like Plunderstorm was also like a good move. They've been making like really good choices about how to like bring innovation and bring newness, like bring a sense of newness into the game. And also like doing things like this, this makes the game like super accessible for somebody. You know, they can jump in, they can just do this Mr. Pandaria thing. They can level up a character in a new WoW experience. Uh, and then they can come out the other side and they can come out ready to go into, uh, into War Within. Like they don't have to level up a Dragonflight character. They don't have to learn Dragonflight systems. They don't have to worry about any of the Dragonflight content. A person who wants to, uh, can simply, you know, log in, they can make a character in this new game mode, they can get it to cap, and then there you go. Now I got a character ready for War Within, when, like, otherwise a lot of people, maybe they wouldn't come back and play retail at all. It's gonna pull, I think it's gonna pull a lot of people in. And I especially think it's gonna pull a lot of people back in from Classic. It's time we get to the root. I will crush you to splinters! I told you to leave me alone! Alright, also not bad. Doing pretty well today. A pity you have come this far only to die at the hands of Xavius. An empty threat. You hold no sway over this realm, Nightmare Lord. Bold words for a prisoner. Even an echo of my power was enough to overwhelm you. Shouldn't Mage DPS be on top? Yeah, yeah, maybe. It would depend on a couple of things, <clears throat> as I'm sure you know. It would depend on the gear score. It would depend on the player. It would depend on the spec. It would depend on the player's focus level. It would depend on a lot of things, obviously. Uh, which I'm sure you know all about those things. Uh, which game mode do I prefer? I, all, all versions of WoW are different. All versions of WoW are basically different games. They all have their time to shine. They all have their moments. Like right now I'm having the most fun playing retail. Which is why we've been, we've been streaming retail for like the past three or four days. Maybe, maybe longer, I don't know. This is where I'm having the most fun right now. Yeah. And I, I don't see that changing anytime really soon. Yeah, the player for sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let, let me know when you're facilitating conversations amongst 100 people and also playing the game, and I'll, I'll take a look at your, uh, your DPS. Okay, buddy. Haters be hating. That's about it. I'm gonna aggro this guy so hard. Help me! <laughs> there we go.
Okay, so when I when I played Plunderstorm, I, I I did not fight other players. I did everything I could to avoid other players. And when I played Plunderstorm, I had a lot of fun. And what I did was I treated it like a game of PVE hide and seek. So my, my goals in a Plunderstorm match were twofold. Goal number one, fight as many NPCs as I can to level up. Uh, goal number two, avoid other players at all costs. And so I would run away, I would use diversionary tactics, like... Uh, and I treated it as a game of like PVE hide and seek where like my assumption was that when a player found me in Plunderstorm, they were going to murder me because I am bad. I, I am not good at PVP in any in any way. But I, and I had a lot of fun. I had a couple matches that I was like second place. You know, I was never going to take first place because of the whole not being able to kill other players thing. But yeah, like I had a lot of fun with it and like I'm not a PvPer, I can't PvP and I knew that the moment another another player cornered me, like once they cornered me, that was it. We we were done. But I, I still enjoyed it. That's the thing. And like obviously like if you just straight up hate the idea of PvP, it could be off-putting, but you could literally play that game mode as if it were PvE. You can go around and hunt elites, you can go around and you can just kill like enemies out in the field. Uh, and so it was good for that. It was WoW hide and seek. A little bit of tag. It was like hide and seek tag. First you hide and then you run away. And then you, you hope that they get distracted or they, you know. I, I would try to, when I did fight, I would try to like, I would try to go in on other people who were already fighting. Like I'd find two people already in a battle. And then I would kind of like predatorily snipe at the person that was the weakest. And then I'd kind of like harass them on the periphery, like run around the periphery and har harass them. Oh, we popped so many dragons. Popped so many dragons. Oh, help me with these dragons. <laughs> I got killed by the dragons. What could I have done? I was reaching for I was reaching for ice block. I just didn't I didn't hit ice block quick enough. It looks like they they probably got it though. Mario, I'm glad to hear that, man. We're we're gonna be playing more of the paladin soon. We'll be we'll be getting the pally some gear pretty soon and getting him into mythics also hopefully. Will I get a res? It doesn't, it doesn't seem like, you know, like, it doesn't seem likely. There's the, the oh yeah, there we go. I say the shaman is here somewhere. It's going to be really embarrassing if I, uh, if I die of fall damage. You know what I mean? Like, it's just gonna be super embarrassing if I die here of fall damage. So I'm just, I'm gonna chill for a second. I'm not gonna die of fall damage. I'm just, I'm gonna heal up and uh, I'm sure they won't miss me too much. Okay, that, that seems a little safer. Would I say that retail is best for mostly solo player with limited time to play? Absolutely. Yes. Abs 100% absolutely. If you are a solo player, you enjoy just like doing most of your content on your own. And I, when I say solo, keep in mind, I also mean what I'm doing right now. I count this as solo play because I don't know these people. We're not in a guild. I didn't have to communicate really to get into the group. I just went in. I requested an invite to their mythic and here I am doing it. So I, encount I, I count five mans and looking for raid and stuff as solo content. Uh, but even if you weren't going to do that, there's like plenty of open world content to do. So yeah, if you're a solo player, you got limited time. As Asmongold says, you know, you're, you're a solo player, you have three kids, six wives, and two jobs, uh, and you only have 31 minutes to play every other day, then retail is where you want to be. Retail is where you're going to get the most bang for your time. Six wives, not bad. Well, I think that depends on on who you ask and what that's all like. Could be, it could be really bad. It, it sounds like you wouldn't have a lot of time on your hands for anything else. Waste away slowly. Pain. I will fracture your feeble mind. You will 
will waste away slowly, painfully. I have this really scary skull mark on me and I wish it would stop. <laughs> I have a feeling at the end of this I'm going to suddenly drop dead. There was definitely something I could have done to, to fix this. Uh, but look, we, we seem to be fine. It was really scary, but the skull's gone now. Uh, I was I was probably supposed to do a mechanic there of some kind. That I just like completely... I thought, I'll get this thing away from other people. That's kind of what I thought. That was really my only go-to. Ooh, that's a nasty silence. How long am I silenced? I'm silenced forever. I should- I have to group up with somebody here. Something has to happen. Uh, I have to get rid of this- yeah, okay, no, it's fine. I, I guess it's fine. We were just silenced for a really long time. You will waste away slowly. I will fracture your feeble mind. Well, that's good. That's good. We got feared. We got the skull mark and we got feared. That's brutal. You cannot defeat we got some kind of achievement. God. Defeat the shade of Xavius while he has 10 Never stacks of apocalyptic victory. empowerment. We that sounds bad. Stay vigilant. Deep inside the nightmare, Xavius remains unvanquished. The enemy you fought here was merely his shadow. For that one, we wanted to be close to somebody. Okay. Oh, uh, we got more, more, more gear in the vault. What is this? Okay, yeah. Uh, do I have enough of these to combine them? I do. We can make a couple of these. So this is how we're getting really good crafted gear. I need to take a look at like what slots are weakest. We're missing. Oh, we're missing flight stones. Oh snap. How do I get more flight stones? Do I have to go like do world quest in the Emerald Dream to get flight stones? I could pop a portal open. I'm a bad mage. So impolite. This is Mythic plus time walking. I guess the way that time the way that Mythic plus works is they they sometimes pull different dungeons into the Mythic plus rotation. So it's not necessarily time walking. We get flight stones from running mythics. Oh, okay, we must not be getting a lot of them, though. We must not be getting a lot of them. Alex, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Lael, I'm not sure there is a, a, a chicken tender's cap. A trader tender's cap. Somebody told me there wasn't a cap. But maybe there is. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I'm not, someone said that to me though, that there wasn't a cap. It feels like that can't possibly be right, but. The weekly quests give you 250 flight stones. And then Zerilek. 150 or 250. Yeah, I probably need to do that. Uh, as it is, right now I can... Uh, I could probably requisition some more gear. Uh, what do we have for like our weakest slot? Uh, 457, right, right here, 428. So our neck piece, we're really weak with the neck piece. The cloak is really weak also. And that's base. If I could replace my neck... And my back piece, I might be in all epics for the first time in like eight years. So maybe I want to go to the the trading post and uh, and see what other materials I need for for a, a cloak and a necklace. Yeah, when you pay for war within, it give you get dragon flight. So just yeah, just buy war within, and then you're all set. All right, so uh, we need a couple of things here. Let me open my, my OneNote page. Let me delete the stuff from yesterday we were tracking. 
All right, so we have our spark. We need two shimmering clasp. Uh, we need a couple elemental harmony. And we need one Malagite? Malagite? Like Malagos? Malagite. If you press track, it tracks the recipe for you. What? <laughs> what? Where, where does it track it? That's a cool feature, if I, if I know where it tracks it. Um, yeah, yes, yesterday I, I typed them all out manually, then we went to the auction house. Okay, so that's our neck. Let's go... Where is the... Where, oh, the cloak. Okay, here we go. And then for this one... We just need six spool of wilder thread. And eight vibrant... Builder cloth bolts. Okay. It tracks it below the quest. Uh, it didn't. It didn't se seem to. Yeah, like I have quest here. I minimize quest, and I, I have nothing else. So yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Uh, but it, it'll be fine. I'll do it this way. I already typed it all out. So. Um, what am I doing wrong here? Vibrant. Wilder Thread. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, any thoughts? Why can't I find this last thing that I need? Yeah, I, for some reason I can't find the vibrant wilder thread cloth bolts or wilder cloth. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just typing it wrong. Maybe my brain is going haywire. Wilder cloth. Voila! Yeah, I'm just I'm just stupid. There we go. Problem solved. It would be easier if the game could track it for me. Yeah, if I could figure out how to make that work, that'd probably be easier than me typing it out in one note. Okay, I think I got everything I need. Hard to hard to tell. Yeah, it was a it was a wording spelling slash wording issue. Definitely an issue between the uh, chair and the keyboard, though. Yeah, I mean here here are the objectives, guys. Like I I just um I just don't see I guess where it's tracking the the profession stuff. Yeah, I just I just don't see where it would be possibly tracking that. I don't have anything else minimized here. Everything is as open as it can be right now. 
Uh, but that's fine. Let's go back down to the uh, trading post. There we go. Travel safe. And so now, and so now we just wait, and eventually here, maybe, maybe sooner, maybe later, we'll get a neck, and we'll get a cloak, and then we'll be in all 450 or above, I think. No, oh, 441. We we got a couple 441s. 444, 44, and I can eventually, if I ever have flight stones again, I could probably level some of these up. But I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to start like thinking about farming flight stones. We don't seem to get a lot of flight stones from doing the mythic runs, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, let's see. Back at it. We have our own key. Like I just, I don't know if I want to do another Murazon's Rise. I would like to tackle some of these ones that we don't have like higher keys, like Al Galakron's Fall is one of them. This is Mirazan's Rise. Galakron's Fall, Waycrest Manor, Atal of Dazar, Black Rook Hold, and Throne of Tides. I I'd like to mainly focus some of those. Eleven Waycrest Manor would be okay. I need to make my gear into a tier set. I read about this and somebody mentioned it yesterday. Where would I go to make my gear into a tier set? Because that sounds like a really good idea. And I'm not opposed to it, I just don't know where to do it or what's involved. I heard tier hold, like I think I read tier hold, but... Tier hold, okay it is tier hold. Okay, yeah, we, we can investigate for sure. I, I don't mind investigating. I don't know if I'm going to have like what I need in order to do this. Unless I just put the piece of gear in and then it pops out a tier piece. I guess if that's how it works, like that's pretty cool. So we, we'll head over that way and we'll see. You get one charge each week. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll be able to do one piece today and then one piece after the lockout. Just put the gear in and press a button. It sounds really, you guys make it sound really appealing, yeah. Let's, let's go do that. That being said, I now have a full group, so... Will we, will we make it... Will I have enough vigor to get there? That's the other question. It stores up charges? Okay. Uh, yeah, this seems like a place that's full of enemies, though.
I, I obviously I don't know where I have to go to do this. Northwest of here, there's a little room on the mountain. Oh god. This this little room over here, maybe? That's not really northwest. No, this this room is full of enemies. The, maybe maybe this is it. I, I see people here. This is it. Okay. 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 I can I can just put like my chest piece here. My chest piece is pretty good. My helmet is really good. Ma and my pants are really good. Maybe I should do pants, since that's like my highest item level thing. Uh, maybe I'll just do a bunch of these. I mean, yeah, like how many... What are my bonuses here? What's with the green birds? I have no idea. Oh god, it changed. The, the whole appearance changed. Okay. Okay, um... So right now... Glacial spike damage increased by 16% and it explodes. Glacial spike? What? 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 Am I using an ability called glacial spike? I don't even think I'm using anything called glacial spike. So now I'm really worried. <laughs> I don't. I suddenly feel sick. I don't, I don't feel good about this. What is a glacial spike and why? Why? Where is it? Oh god. Oh no, I have it. Oh, Glacial Spike is the thing that turns all of my dudes into one giant spike. Okay, we're good. I got really worried, yeah. That's all I know that it's the button that combines my shards. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, so I could probably do more of these. 450, 441. Let's just do the, let's do this. Why did they put this in the game? Why why are they just they're just handing away tier set bonuses for like nothing? Like granted, it's not it's not like it's not increasing the item level of any of the items, you know, but still like I'm about to walk out of here with a four piece bonus. And then I still have some stuff left over. So I don't have to raid. <laughs> Yay? I, I guess? It's a weird looking set. Like, it doesn't even seem to, like, really go together. This is a, this is a really weird set. Um... Yeah. I'm not sure. So, is that, is that good? Should, I shouldn't do any more, should I? Oh, I can just, I'll get my five piece. Um... Let's just do... Let's do the waste. I probably should be headed to wherever we're going here, like... I thought maybe they would summon me, but I'm not, like, I shouldn't be relying on a summon. That's it. That's it, we got... Wait, did that not do it? Why did that not give me the five piece? What did I do wrong? There is no bonus. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What was I seeing then? Oh, I, I see. There's no other bonus. Okay, so we don't have to do it. We, we don't, we don't need the five piece. Oh, there's somebody. Maybe I didn't get it. Oh, is, is there something about tear hold that blocks like summons like I'm just not these people are trying to summon me and uh, I'm not I'm not getting a summon I don't even know where they're at um doesn't matter healer left the party cool 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 yeah I didn't get a summon and uh, I don't know why 
and I don't have any idea like where these people are at. Let's see. Heroes Rest. Blackwork Hold is... Uh, I gotta go through the timeways. Maybe I should just teleport back to Veldraken. I canceled the summon. I didn't see the summon pop up. I was in the catalyst and I missed it. That makes more sense. Yeah, it, it, maybe it popped up while I was messing with the catalyst. Of course, they're not just they're not simply going to resummon me. That would be a waste of time. It must be my fault that the healer left. I canceled the summon. I mean, that's not surprising. I was in another menu, so like yeah, it's not surprising that while trying to focus on learning a brand new interface, like, maybe I just, like, clicked onto the summon. Sure. All I was focusing on was trying to figure out, like, what I was looking at, because I had never seen that interface before. I'm just a bad person. That's all. Uh, Black Rook Hold is through... Is it Vashir? Or is it Velshara? Velshara, thank you. I look horrible. Why why does my chest piece clash so much with my with the rest of my look? If this is like the tier set, don't you think like maybe I'd be orange or something? Like I don't I don't really know why I look so awful. I look really awful. <laughs> it's bad. Mendy, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. It's a lower item level, so it's a different color. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, that, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that look. The hat is okay. Like, I don't mind, like, the generic, like, Black Mage Final Fantasy hat. Like, that's cool and everything. I'll probably change it, but... I, it's obviously functioning as some kind of like timekeeping device. Like I don't really know like what that's counting. Those aren't those aren't seconds, so I'm not sure. Oh, we have the same kind of timepiece worked into our belt. That's actually pretty cool. I, I like it. I like it in the belt more than I like it on top of the hat. In the belt, it actually looks really cool. Uh, I'm not. I'm not actually ready. But I will click yes anyway.
Stop to this. Invaders have breached the passage to the crypts. Ilisana, you must hold them here. We have much to lose. Your father's life, most of all. You need not worry. I will not fail, Atosius. Men, the invaders come for us. Do not let them pass. For Kalimdor! <laughs> we have a hesitation here. Why are we, uh, why are we hesitating? Nothing in party chat. What are we waiting for? Okay, okay, um, I got nothing in party chat. Healer said, my bad, the tank is not, the tank is not tanking. Hunter has threat, now that we're dead. I wonder, like, yeah, the tank didn't go AFK or anything, I'm not sure what happened. Is there a new way to level besides time walking with Chromie? The new way to level, we were talking about the Mista Pandaria event. You should go read about that a little bit. It's a Mista Pandaria remix. It's not out yet, though, it comes out in the next mini patch, which should be sometime, uh, probably early May. And that'll be a new way to, that'll be a new fun way to get a character leveled up and ready for War Within. That won't involve having to level through like Dragonflight content or like Chromie time walking or anything like that. I think I turned my ice block into, into some other ability. It says ice cold now and I don't know if it like functions the same way. Yeah, I'll have to read it in a second. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I have my traditional ice block. 
Reducing all damage by 70% and then healing. So it reduces damage and then it heals me, which is nice. And yeah, I probably should have used it there. I, I just didn't... Oh my god, what in the actual hell is happening? I just didn't realize the tank was not going to tank, that's all. Um, I'm going to hide out here for a minute because I don't know what's happening with this group. I, I just really don't want to die again right now. Okay, okay, not not dying is not an option. We're gonna die. Uh, the healer's dead, that's why we're dead. Uh, what, what's going on here? This tank was doing, I, I thought he was doing fine. I did notice when we first got into the run that he was doing very small pulls. So I don't, I don't really know what's happening. This might be our first like fail run. You know, we, we just, this might just be a fail group. Um, I guess we're, I guess we're releasing, yep. This might be our first complete fail group. I, I don't really know what's happening, but it's, it doesn't seem great. Whatever it is. Don't pull other group. I don't think anybody pulled anything that was just not gonna pull anyway. I'm not sure. Do we know when the remix will release? Uh, we don't know yet, but yeah, probably sometime in May though. It's going to be going on PTR tomorrow, so I will actually be checking out the PTR tomorrow around 1 o'clock my time. They said like basically everything is going to be available on the PTR tomorrow to test, so we're going to jump in and we're going to check it out. And we're going to provide feedback if, if feedback should be provided. Okay, so let, let's let him go in here and do whatever he's going to do. I'll stand, like, way back here might be better. I'm still taking, like, so much incidental damage. Like, even, even hanging out back here. Like, the heal- the healer is dead again. Like, the tank- the tank just isn't picking up threat or something. Like, I don't know what he's doing. But he's just like, now we're going to be broken after this. I'm going to have to portal out and, uh, and, and repair. Like, yeah, our gear's going to be broken very, really soon. No, you don't, not, yeah, for the time walking thing, for, for the Mist of Pandora remix, you're going to make a, a new level 10 character. But yeah, it's going to be worth it to do that. Like, I'm kind of disappointed too. Like, I started leveling up a warrior, like, traditionally. Uh, in a recorded series, so I'm like, dang, a, a warrior probably would have been really fun just to like run through Mr. Pandaria stuff with a bunch of cool abilities. So now, now I don't know what I'm going to take into the remix. I might do a hunter. It might be nice to try a hunter. And then I'll just level the warrior normally. The healer, the healer has left and I don't, I don't blame him. The tank said you have to dodge the arrows. I don't know if that's what the problem is or not. Um, I don't, I don't know. Do I, do I stick with this group? Like, are, are we, are we gonna, we're not gonna be able to replace a healer, right? This is a, this is a level 12 a key. We can't pull somebody in. We have to leave and reset. I'm just, I'm gonna throw up a portal here. And I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna find another, another run to do. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't think I trust this tank. We have to reset anyway. I'm, I'm not. I'm not feeling anything good about this tank. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna bounce out of this group, and we'll find a different one. Yeah, we we've been through here many many times, and we we've never had a problem with any of those pulls. So. Yeah, we'll go repair. We'll check the mailbox. We have mail. We we might have our last two epics waiting for us. We have at least one of them. Oh, we can fix our transmog too. I wish it would put the mage, the mage set here, like under sets. I have to go to the chess piece and I have to find the mage, the mage robes. Uh, maybe we do blue. Let's do blue. Farewell, friend of the Ramos. 
I have many, many wares. I wish they weren't allowed to solicit like this and to fill up the queue like this. I, I think this is kind of obnoxious. And, and I wish they weren't allowed to do that. If they want to spam for shit, they, they should have to spam in looking for group chat. They shouldn't be able to fill up the tool with it. Yeah, this is the human heritage armor. It, it's cool that it has a, a cloth option for casters and then just like the chest plate for everybody else. Uh, maybe we won't be doing uh, Black Rook necessarily. I'd like to kind of like try to focus on it, but... I, I don't really want a 9. I feel like I'm a, I, Am I above a 9? I don't know if I'm above a 9. I'll just take the 9. Yeah, the 9 is fine. Um, Black Rook Hold, I only have a 2, so even even completing a 9 key would boost me here for, for Black Rook Hold. They aren't supposed to use it that way? I, yeah. I should report them, but I, I, you know. I ain't no snitch. I just wish they would enforce some stuff, like, in their game a little bit more proactively. All right, so so Black Rook Hold, we we know where we're going. We have we have all of our DPS, but we don't have any healers or tanks. Let's find the mailbox. Check that out. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Draconically epic. I have not hit one of these achievements probably since, like, maybe Legion. Maybe early Legion was the last time I was in, like, all epics. Maybe even before that. I don't know. Very cool. Nice! I get to see a purple number now. I'm so happy to see a purple number here. Absolutely amazing. This has been so much fun. It's been so good to be able to actually, like, progress my character. To feel like I have like meaningful progression. Uh, I have one of these things to put on the neck piece to give it like another another gem slot. So now we have two gem slots here. Uh, the problem is we only have the one gem, so I will have to buy another gem. Uh, for the back, do I have any? Yeah, enchant cloak. Here we go. Permanently enchant your cloak with avoidance. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll we'll pop that enchant on the cloak. And let's head over. Oh, we got a full group too, but let's see if we can uh, if we can snag a gem really quick. We will not repeat our history. Go and wait. All right, very cool. And now I guess we should probably get on our way. It doesn't look like we are getting a summon. Ooh, it's raining in Veldrek, and I didn't know that it could rain here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, we are getting a summon because people are awesome. when your wife has been trying to get into the groups I'm getting into but hasn't been successful. I feel like the groups I'm getting into are just like a crapshoot. In a little bit, I might I might host my key. And then people would probably have better luck trying to get into the group. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of, it's hard to sneak in, I guess. 
Especially because I, I tend to target groups that are almost like full. A lot of the time I'll try to target a group that has like two DPS or they're just waiting for one DPS. All right, uh, I would do buff food here. I, every time I do buff food, somebody throws down a feast. But I'll go ahead and eat buff food. We got 25 minutes left on the file of Tepid Versatility. I'll probably pop another one just to get this time boosted up a bit so I don't have to think about it as much. So we're up to 55 minutes and 60 minutes on the food. I'll throw down a table because, you know, um, I guess I could probably throw down a table for people. Try to do something like kind of polite. Uh, it looks like, well, it looks like we lost a DPS firstly. So that I'm glad that happened now and not like after the run has started. So yeah, it seemed, we probably have to go back out and summon anyway, like whoever we get. It was his key. <laughs> a dude leaves, and then this the, the tank's like, oh, it was his key. Oh, good. So the person with the key might have left. Yeah, that's a big bummer. We we are we are not having like any luck with getting black or cold done. Yeah, that was the person's key. So back back to searching we go. How rude. Plus 25? Why not? Why not plus 25? <laughs> Probably not going to happen. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do so low as a plus 5. That's a little bit too low. I'd like to get like a plus 8 or above. This has got a tank and a healer though. It would still be an improvement, but it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be like very great. All right, so this is a nine, and we need a healer. But at least we're at the stone. We've got all of our buffs up, and then the dude left. What a bummer. Are there, are there enchants for helmets? I haven't seen any helmet enchants on the auction house. I don't know if maybe I'm just searching wrong.
I think we're all here. Yeah, I feel like everybody's here. Uh, yeah, I see it now. Now now I have a professions tab. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, strangely, it's only tracking the one, though. Even though I told it to track two of them, it only tracked one of them. But that's nice. I hope that works more reliably in the future. Because it, it, it wasn't showing up at all for a while. Maybe I needed, like, a UI reload. But, yeah, it would be nice if that kind of stuff just worked. Like, from, from the get-go. I popped. I popped int up. You're you're just you're just jumping the gun, or you're missing it. Because yeah, I I popped it up. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate the attempts that, to help though. But yeah, you're either you're either not seeing it, or you're just like kind of jumping the gun. Regardless, we haven't been in a pull yet in Blackrook where, where intellect was not up. That was my only point. Your essence. 
Nice, nice. I always, I always get worried when I'm at the top of the DPS meters. It always, it always kind of worries me. I feel like there should be at least somebody like out DPSing me. But I guess I can't say that my gear is horrible anymore. Like it's not, it's not the best gear. But I, I guess I can no longer like say, "Hey, my gear sucks." It's no longer an excuse for bad performance. See that that room, well, you know, like I can see at the end there where that guy was plucking us with the arrow. I probably could have moved behind him, but that room we did not have any problems with this time. So,
We will bury you here, fools. You cannot escape! The hunt is eternal. You cannot escape! Gods, hold them off! I will burn you alive! The hunt, you cannot escape! You cannot escape! My DPS is way higher today. It was 50 to 60 yesterday. Today it's 100k. Um, yeah. I mean, it, well, it's like 66 still. It, it's getting better. My gear's getting better. So, it, it's creeping up there. I, I no longer have, like, terrible gear. Let's just say it's at a point where I'm not completely dissatisfied with my own performance. Like, I, I feel I feel pretty okay about how I'm doing. There's obviously, like, a lot of room for improvement, but... I feel okay about it. Yeah, the, the DPS meter I have set on, uh, on an encounter-by-encounter encounter basis. So this is encounter-by-encounter, encounter, and then damage overall is obviously, like, damage overall. So yeah, depending on the pull, the size of the pull, my DPS will probably fluctuate up and down.
家。Too many numbers on the screen? Nah, you don't have to pay attention to all of them. It's fine. You don't, I don't even really look at the numbers. Yeah. Bland and good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here. Lonnie, I need to use shifting powers more often. Um, you'll have to be a little bit more specific. I feel like I'm doing okay, but yeah, if there's like a button I'm not pressing or an ability I'm not using, you'll have to be a little bit more specific with me. Shift F3 is ice cold. Uh, so ice cold is like, yeah, like if I'm getting hit by a bunch of stuff, I can pop that for a heal. Uh, so far, I've been fine. If I, if I start taking a butt ton of damage and I think the healer's not going to catch me, then I'll pop it. Ancestors. Ilisana. No. Forgive me. Heroes, you must defeat him. You expect these worthless mortals to defy the Legion? Souls of my ancestors, to me! Aid our champions! Sleep now. You cannot comprehend that which you face, mortals! We lost some people. We, we had some people that could not quite keep up with the mechanic. <laughs> and they are no longer with us.
We still got it. <laughs> Whew. We lost some people, though. They just, like, they fell just a little bit behind in that ground effect. Thank you, heroes. Great veil has been lifted from our eyes. We Ravencrests have sacrificed much and more in defense of this land. I see now who may rest, safe in the knowledge that heroes still live who will defend our Yeah, we did pretty good that run. We we took top overall, which you know it's it's it's, it's not a bad feeling. I can't lie. Looking for some place new to explore? All right, guys, I want to do a little bit more, but I think I'm going to take a 10 minute break and I want to refill my coffee, stretch my legs. I want to hydrate and grab a snack. So, yeah, I think I'm going to take a, a little break here. I'll put the break screen up if you guys want to hang out. I'd appreciate it. If not, then thank you so much for being here this morning. I do appreciate the support. I will see you guys in a little bit.
All right, we are back. Thank you guys very much for hanging out. I appreciate it. How are the Mythic runs going? Uh, they're going really well. We took top DPS uh, in the last one, and our gear score is now draconically superior. So, yeah, it's been a good time. Uh, do I want to do my... I should probably host my key. I've been putting it off because I didn't really want to do another uh, Murazon's Rise, but it's been a while now, so we can probably... We could probably host the key. We're at an 888 mythic rating. Yeah, our, our lowest keys are Galakron's Fall, Waycrest Manor, Atel Dazar, and Throne of Tides. Uh, but then the key I have is Murazon's Rise. That would be an improvement from an 8 to an 11 if we can clear it. Chill run, good times. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... That's fine. And there we go, that's DPS solved for. So we got a, uh, a Warlock and a Warrior. Now we gotta get some, uh, we gotta get some heals and a tank. Let's see how that goes. And Liriani, yes, you, you got in. It's easier to get into the group when uh, when I host the key. It's harder to sneak into a group when I'm already trying to sneak into somebody else's group. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, should we head? Should we head out? I guess we should probably head out. And that way, we can at least uh, be ready to summon. There's our tank, Death Knight, fourteen thirty seven rating, four seventy one gear score. He's probably going to dominate. from different timelines are all over the place. Uh, this is such a mess. Please help us get things back in order. Is it time for Dawn of the Infinite again? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's our key. I hope we I hope we get like an Atal Dazar key or like some different kind of key. Uh, would be ideal. Like, if, well, yeah, if we can get a key for any of the last three, that would be awesome.
at some point I'm gonna be an MDI player? I, I don't think so. <laughs> I appreciate it though. Very unlikely. Very unlikely that I will find or seek success at that level. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't see that happening. Will I play Kana? Um, uh, it's gonna be tough to tear me away from Mythic Plus. <laughs> uh, between between Mythic Plus and uh, being excited about the new um, Pandarian remix they're doing in retail, like it's gonna be hard to tear me away from what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, I probably I will. Like I'll play I'll play Kana. Okay, you twisted my arm. I'll play Kana a little bit. We'll check it out. Oh, it's my key. I'm fucking... Oh, it's my key, guys. Don't let me walk away and go to lunch, like, and then come back and try to do this, like, after eating. Like, my brain... Like, you ever eat food and you feel like you get stupider after you eat? Like, my brain basically melts after I eat, like, any food in the middle of the day. Like, it's... It's all over after that. I didn't do a ready check, like... Yeah, don't let me host my key after I have lunch. I have to host my key before I eat food. Because otherwise, it's bad. Monica, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here.
but your path ends here. The infinite dragonflight shall continue. Your greatest fears realized. Annihilation is inevitable. My strike is true. Apart, you are weak. My blows are infinite. Infinites grant me strength! And so your tale ends. Feel the horrors yet to pass. are infinite. Behold your annihilation. Apart, you are weak. Behold your you cannot change. What? I feel like I feel like in the middle of the fight. <clears throat> There was something happening back here that I did not I did not pick up on. Like I don't know if it was ads that we were supposed to clear or what exactly it was. But I feel like there was a time while I was focusing the boss that other people were doing other more important things. Hi, good afternoon, man. The orbs, we need to stop them from reaching the middle. Okay, okay, so we were supposed to be, like, absorbing those orbs or, or running into them or something. Everyone else was taking care of that. I was just, like, focusing the boss for no reason. I don't think we're going to get there this time. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Like, some someone's gonna open a teleporter, right? Like, I've yeah, here we go. Teleporter maybe is already up. Oh, not yet. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna wait here. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep running into stuff.
I, I didn't have blink and I couldn't get away. Yeah, like apparently I can't outrun him unless I have blink. Oh, that really sucks. I was doing pretty well that fight is also. Oh, we got we got a res. Yeah, I don't know what else. I, I could have saved the blink, I guess. I guess I have to have a blink ready for that. I just couldn't I couldn't get any distance on him. That was a bummer. Oh well. I, I went for ice cold, but it just wasn't it wasn't in time. And I don't know if ice cold would have saved us. It's it's not really like the same as ice block. So I don't even know if it would have been any good. Yeah, I think I'd already popped my barrier. I'm pretty sure I had it on cooldown, but maybe I didn't. Oh, the mass barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should probably use that a little more often. We're waiting for a couple people to make the run back.
I, I seem to have just have a guy chasing me. <laughs> I, I've been told I have to run from this, and uh, I, I can't I can't run from it and really like kill it at the same time. So I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do there with that. Like I I think like yeah we got a couple of DPS dead could be why yeah we needed just more DPS on the on the spawns like that's a tough one. Lead it into a puddle. I feel like I let it all over the place. It, did, it didn't walk through a single puddle and all that. Is that what has to happen? Yeah, okay. I, I somehow steered it, like, miraculously around all the puddles. Alright. Well, fair enough. Lesson learned. I, I should probably write that one down, otherwise I probably won't remember it. Well, apparently they don't need us anyway. Just one more death for the death counter. Or we're up to eight. I'm, I'm sure that factors in somehow. Yeah, this is, uh, this is day three. Day three of Mythics on this character. Well, like, the first day was like a half a day. Half the day was Mythics. Yesterday, the, the whole stream was Mythics. And now, and now today. Yeah, we've been progressing pretty well. I'm not, I'm not memorizing all the boss fights like I probably should, but... Our progress has been nice anyway. There will be more deaths on higher keys. Oh joy! I, I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting into some higher keys. It has definitely been like the most pure fun, the most pure fun that I've had with the game in a long time. Oh, Just doing these mythic runs. And my gear is really good. Yeah, you know, and part of the fun is obviously, like, being able to progress my character. And, uh, and being able to, like, progress my gear. Yeah, it's, it's been really good. And the cool thing is it all feels like it matters, because, like, each piece of gear I get is going to let me get into, like, more and more challenging content. So I'm, I'm incentivized to go after the gear because I, I want to do the higher keys. Come, 
I need to stand under an orb. Oh, okay. Somebody said they were getting all the orbs. Somebody somebody called out in party they were going to get the orbs, so I was I was kind of ignoring the orbs. What's going on with these guys? What are they doing? I, I've never seen them come all the way over here like this before. This is this is a little weird. Okay, maybe they always do that, and I just never notice. We almost died. The one the one time our entire bar was shields. We had like no HP and we were we were all shield. And somehow the healer still kept us alive, so yeah. It's good. Oh no, what is this? What did I do? Um... What was that? Did we not get the timer? Is that what happened? Oh... Ouch! Damn. <laughs> what happened? I don't- I don't understand- I- I see that we failed the objective, like, I got that part. Uh, I just guess I didn't see the timer ticking down. Confusion! We won? Uh, really? 
It se it seemed like it seemed like nothing happened. I'm not I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We they had to clear some trash. I don't even know where I came from. Did I come from this way? I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. We were short on the trash. Is this where I want to go? Probably not. <laughs> oh, that's weird. So we just we just hadn't killed enough trash. I'm probably never going to find my way back to the loot. It was the middle one? Yeah. Won't they just won't they just mail it to me? Like if I if I leave this dungeon, won't they just mail it to me? I, yeah, it's not I don't think they're going to let it rot in the crate. I think I can probably just I don't think I'm going to be able to find the way back. I'm bad I'm bad at navigating things. The middle could mean anything based on like where I'm oriented. Like depending on which way I'm facing, something else becomes the middle. This one right here, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just- I'm just gonna let them mail it back to me. I'm not- I'm not, like, super worried about it. If, if something shows up in the mailbox in a little bit, then, you know, we'll, we'll get an item. If, if not, then we didn't get anything. It's- it's fine. As long as we actually, like, successfully completed it, that's all I really care about. Okay, so yeah. Cool, cool stuff. Uh, and so now my key, my key is a 12 Throne of Tides. The, we only have a 2. I, I think I'm, I'm about to host this 12 key. Yeah, see, oh, we did get mail. Maybe this is the mail. I, I'm gonna also post my 12 key, uh, for Throne of Tides, because we only have a 2. Yeah, it'll be a big boost, exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go, we got- we got legs. Which kind of sucks, it kind of sucks because that's gonna bust our four-piece. Now- now I have to go back- no wait, these are not- these are not an upgrade. That's perfect. Yeah, I- I don't want an upgrade for my legs because we have the tier piece. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Not an actual upgrade. Zero takers on my on my plus twelve throne of tides. I can make it tier. I already did that with my legs, though. Yeah, like it's it's not. I don't think it's better, is it? Like I've I've got some. I've also got some investment in this item already. Like I've already powered it up a bit with like flight stones and crests and like other stuff. Yeah, I feel like it's it's the same. If I if I were to level this one up twice, it would be right where the current pants are at. Yeah, I don't feel like it's an upgrade. Crit strike and versatility, haste and versatility. Uh, you could argue that the crit strike would be better than the haste. You could you could argue that. Did I do something wrong with listing my group here? It's probably my ch my chill run, good times is p gets people thinking this is questionable. No, it looks good. Just zero interest in it. We'll try this for a bit, but if we don't have any takers, then we'll find something else to jump into, and we can always save this for another time. All right. All right. It's so interesting to get like horde players as an alliance person. Like so I guess like faction in faction in retail doesn't really matter because you can you can guild up. You can guild up cross faction and you can do like any kind of content cross faction. So like factions no longer matter. 
So if I, if I wanted to level up some horde characters at some point, maybe in the Mist of Pandaria uh, scenario thing, maybe I could do some horde characters if there were some like horde races that I wanted to level. Since I don't have to be like strictly alliance side. Throne of Tides. Where am I going for Throne of Tides? Probably near all the Naga and stuff. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm assuming that we go where the Naga are at. I, I hate this part. Do I just jump in here? What's the, what's the uh, what? No, there's got to be a better way. <laughs> there's got to be a better way than just jumping in. I don't I don't like jumping into this thing. It bothers me. Can I can I fly here? I'm underwater here, aren't I? Okay, yeah, we're swimming. We're not. We're not flying. Just jump? Okay, Jesus. Alright. Okay, uh, well. Oh, okay, okay. Let's just take the summon. That sounds okay. <laughs> flush yourself down. That's hor- No, that's terrible. <laughs> Feels so bad. Yeah, just flush myself into the- into the toilet of Azeroth. It's not a good time. So okay, this is my key. I I have to do the things. Let's let's do a a ready check. We are waiting. We are waiting on the on the tank. Big pull, he says. Big pull. Okay, we, yeah, there we go. We got everybody, everybody clicked. And we're going. He said he was ready, and he said big pulls. Come on, let's see it. You got, you got to move. <laughs> we got a ticking timer here. There he goes.
Vinkos, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Mm, did we do the right thing? I think we did. Yeah, I think it's 35 minutes, which is usually more than enough time, it seems like. Be sad, dog. Good afternoon, man. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we've been having a good time today. That was bad. That was very, very bad. Uh, that was was that some kind of directional ability that I'm supposed to be like tracking which way there that right there that that poison arrow stuff. Like I'm pretty sure that's what killed me. I guess I need to pay attention to where that mob in particular is facing because that, yeah that was for some reason just deadly for me. That was very very nasty. Run back? I'm never- I'm never gonna find my way back if I try to run back. Yeah, I'm never gonna- I'm, I won't find my way back. <laughs> like, I'll try, but yeah, I have no idea where we've been, where we went, what we've cleared, what we haven't. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna click on this guy here. Like, when I'm- when I'm just following along in these dungeons, like, I'm not paying attention to the navigation. I'm just following people. So, maybe this will be really easy. Maybe I never find the group. You run in one direction. You, that's, I, it's more complicated than you would think when I'm the one doing the moving. Yeah, I, I can definitely, I can definitely get lost. It's very easy. I'll make it back. By the time I get back, they'll probably have killed a couple bosses. This is the first mythic run where I have not gotten a res upon death. So that's discouraging. Alan, I appreciate that. Thanks for being here and for hanging out with the stream. No, he told me he wasn't gonna res, man. He he said he said he said run back, my sweet baby boy. <laughs> he literally told me to it wasn't that I was waiting and wondering why I wasn't getting one. He told me I was not gonna get a res. He literally said it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, as soon as I hit blink, I knew I'd fucked up. I tried to blink out of the out of the stupid vine thing and I blinked right into the freaking portals on the other side of the room. I knew it was a mistake as soon as my finger twitched to hit the button. I should have just stayed in the stupid plant thing and taken the interrupt. Oh. 
This feels bad. Oh, I'm not the best of us, though. I'm, I'm quite... The problem is that, like, I have a lot to prove. If, it, if I was the best of us and that happened to me, it wouldn't be a big deal. But I am literally the worst of us. <laughs> so I, I actually have quite a bit to prove when it comes to, like, staying alive and not getting killed with stupid stuff. That's all. I will take it personally every time I get myself killed. Also, also, I, like, I'm supposed to be targeting ads, aren't I? Like, yeah, I don't know this fight. I, I'm supposed to be targeting ads right now. I'm pretty sure the boss has been immune for a minute and a half. And I've just been pumping spell after spell into her for, like, no reason. Because, yeah, ads. It was nasty. It was nasty, but, you know, we only died once at least. There was not. There was nothing I was going to be able to do there. We, we. I think maybe the healer might have even been dead by then. Anyway, uh, what do we got here? We're down. He's down to like six percent. Come on, demon hunter, you can do it. Oh, the healer was back up for a second and then and then died again. Five uh, percent. I don't think he's going to get it. Maybe if he was at two percent, but yeah, that that's a tough one. That, that is a tough one.
He's still going. I mean, he could get this. He's go he's gonna get it. I think he got it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, that's nice. Hmm. Fun times. That was cool. He's just standing here stoically like a badass. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I, I got the fight, guys. Don't worry. Just die to mechanics. I'll take care of it. It's fine. I only had top DPS because I think a couple other people got killed. I, was, I felt good for a minute. I, I was in the zone there for a second, and then things just kind of slowly got out of hand. That was good, yep, I blinked right into that one. Oof. Oh my dear god, how did the one behind me get me? Okay, what, what's, go what's going on with this now? Come on, where is it safe? This guy was right next to me, he didn't, he didn't die? Um, am I gonna have to run? Oh my god. Wait, I don't, I, I'm gonna just get killed again anyway, like I don't... I don't even understand, like, where was supposed to be the safe place. Yeah, I'm, I'm really confused. I'll try it again, but I expect the same exact result. Seeing as how my understanding of what's happening here has not increased. Like, I see where it's laying it down, okay? Like, where's, where's my safe ground? My safe ground should be, like, right here, or right at the pillar, right? Whatever, we'll just- we'll just cheat it. I'll never- I'll never learn, but who needs to learn things? Wasted my food buff. Yeah, maybe- maybe where the pillars were, maybe that would have been the safe, uh, the safe place. Am I clicking on this thing again? Okay, we're clicking. That counts towards our death counter, too, doesn't it? Oh, that's gross. I feel really bad about that.
with me. I have. I have grown too weak to be of any existence. Who man? Good afternoon, buddy. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I shall take my leave once my strength has returned. We did okay on that fight, and we didn't die, so that was good. I, I wish I didn't have all this shit hitting me, that'd be really cool. Alright, here we go, this fight. This fight either is over in like 20 seconds, or it goes on forever and ever and then we die. I, I don't really know what makes the difference, but that's how my experience has been with this fight. Uh, it's either over like right away, or it goes on and on and on, and then we die. My waters are cleansed. Drink in their power. This, this is one of the times when it goes on and on and on and then we die. This is that version of the fight.
Like, I, I, yeah, when you get the water, you clean up the area, and if the area is not getting cleaned up enough, then I guess, I guess it's a wipe. Yeah, the two people that get the water move to- they, they have to move together? Is- is moving together a requirement of clearing the sludge? Because I seem like I was able to clear the sludge on my own. <clears throat> like, I moved around and, like, the sludge where I moved around on my own cleared out. So is- is it that we have to stack? Or is it that, like, both people just have to be trying to clear the sludge where, wherever they're at? If you stack, it cleans faster. Yeah, but it, as long as we're both, like, at least trying to move a little bit, it should have been better than that. But if, if I get it, I'll try to go to the other person. Um, but yeah, that, that depends on us getting it. Is he gonna get this too? Is it just this demon hunter, man? What is with demon hunters? 6%, 5%. What is it with Demon Hunter tanks? All the self-healing? 4%. He's gonna get this, man. Oh shit, uh-oh. Big ability coming in. Oh, it didn't do anything to it. 3%? This is- this is crazy. 2%- uh, he doesn't even need us. He could do this whole Mythic by himself. It's Mythic 12 and he doesn't need, even need a healer to fight a boss. So like, what's the point of him bringing anybody else? <laughs> Oh, he's got a whole nother phase. Okay, maybe he's not gonna get this. I, I didn't realize this was like a whole different phase. No, he's got it. <laughs> no, he's gonna get it. That's crazy. I feel so bad for this tank. He just carried us. He carried us through two different boss fights, man. All right. Yeah, I guess we have to we have to release to to go get our loot if we want to if we want to loot. Now we don't have to loot. We've learned that they'll just mail it to us. But we might- we- oh no, you know, I'm not- I'm not gonna make that run. I'm gonna put up a portal right here and, uh, and we'll just peace out. Yeah, the tank is amazing. I mean, Demon Hunter's probably a really strong class, but his character's obviously very powerful. Alright, so, what did that give us? That gave us a 14 Galacron's fall. Mmm, I don't know. Do I want to do a 14 Galacron's fall? If I ever want it to turn into something else, I have to. Uh, we only have a 6 for Galacron's fall, so it would be- it would be a step in the right direction. Dare I? Like, dare I list this- this 14 key? I could bump it down. Do you think there's any value in bumping it down a few? You know, it would still- anything would be better than a 6. Or should I just try it at a 14? Don't do it. I'm just because of that, now I want to do it. Hey, look at this! I'm green! I'm green for the first time ever. I have a thousand Mythic Plus rating. <clears throat> Three days ago, I had never done a Mythic Plus before in my entire life. And I've been playing WoW for 20 years. And I just completely avoided Mythic Plus. I never did it. And yeah, it feels good to be able to progress in only a few days. You could barely do the 12. You could barely do the 12. Get out of here. I'm going to do the 14. Yep. <laughs> I've been I've been sufficiently goaded into doing the uh, into doing the fourteen. So, bum bum bum, start a group. List group. We're doing it. If we get demon hunters like that, we can do we can do like twenty five. We just need a couple of demon hunters. Uh, this is the storm rage, storm rage server. 
We didn't get any mail, so I'm assuming that means that we don't have any loot from that, uh, from that last one. Which is absolutely fine. I really wish I was getting more flight stones. I really wish I was getting more flight stones. 244. Yeah, the worst thing that happens is that I can't do it, right? Exactly. And it does it doesn't completely depend on me. Like I'm I'm not necessarily what makes or breaks the group, right? It's a it's a it's literally a group effort for a reason. So it'll depend on everybody. Uh let's try to find a repair person. That could be good. Am I going to continue the Blood Elf Mage, the, the recorded series? Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yep, if I, if I don't get an episode up tomorrow, then there will probably be a, quite a few that go up over the weekend. If I, if I can't get one up tomorrow, I'll try to get two up on Saturday and, and two up on Sunday. So that's that's DPS. Now we need tank and heals. And then I could probably start heading over that way. Frost or Ice Nova before Comet Storm and Cone of Cold will increase the damage a lot. Yeah, I, I have been trying. I have not been hitting Frost Nova a lot. Because the one thing a tank said to me was that it was hard for him to gather them up when I was frost noving. So like maybe there are like situations where we're clearly stationary and I should be on the lookout for those times when we are like very clearly stationary. But yeah, I have to be careful about when I hit it cuz it seems to be something that I can do that can kind of bother tanks. Like if they're still trying to move the mobs and I don't realize it. So yeah, I really haven't been using it. But if I do use it, I should pop it before before cone of cold or before Comet Storm. Good to know. I'll try to find those, like, I'll try to pay more attention to those moments when I think we can get away with it. Cold Snap will reset most of my cooldowns. It doesn't seem to reset my important ones. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Like, it doesn't seem to reset... Uh, it doesn't seem to reset Icy Veins like I remember it doing back in the day. And it doesn't seem to reset Mirror Image. It resets, like, what? Like, Frost Nova, maybe? Cone of Cold? I'll, I'll try to work it in more. But, like, for some reason, I was expecting it to reset, like, Icy Veins, and it, it doesn't. Yeah, let's see. It resets Ice Barrier, Frost Nova, Ice Cold, and Ice Block. Oh, it does reset Ice Cold, though, and that, that could be really useful. Yeah, I should be using that more. I'm gonna move it somewhere, like, on my actual bar. I don't, I don't ever use, like, Blast Wave. I don't know if I should.
at least it's a dungeon that I know well by now. You would think that I would know it well, but I think you might give me too much credit for how uh, how forgetful I am. All right, we got heals. Now we are waiting on tank. I feel bad for just taking the most qualified person for the job. I'm going to grab a high item level, lower rating. Like no matter I feel bad no matter what. So many tanks wanted to tank for me and I could only pick one of them. Yeah, I mean, if you're out there and this looks fun, you should definitely just jump in and throw yourself out there for groups and like someone's going to invite you and you're probably going to have a bunch of successful runs. But yeah, like it's it's been like from thinking it was something that I could never do uh, to being where I'm at now in such like a short period of time. I feel I feel incredibly foolish about avoiding Mythic Plus for as long as I have. I feel really foolish. Do all Mythic Dungeons give the same types of rewards, uh, like as an item level, or like the items themselves? It's fun, but it starts getting old after a few months. I think for me, that would be the time that I would start gearing up another class. Because I, I do like to play a bunch of alts. So I, I think for me, when it starts getting old on one character, I think then I just, like, I gear up somebody else. But yeah, everybody's different though, you know? That's a good question, Blends, and I'm not sure. I feel like the items are probably all the same and just like the item level varies as you increase difficulty. But I'm not sure.
I will I will never tank these. No no no. <laughs> I, I'm having I'm having a lot of fun DPSing. I don't think you'll ever get me to tank one of these. You will not get past me. It's uh I, I just don't think even think I would enjoy it. I, I don't think I would enjoy the tanking aspect of it as much as I enjoy just trying to DPS. Will I try melee at some point? Yes, we're gonna get our paladin geared up at some point. Probably next week what I'll start doing is I'll, I'll take a couple hours in the morning to start gearing up the paladin and then we'll come back over to the mage for the afternoon to keep doing Mythic Plus until that we get to the until we get the pally to a point where he can do Mythic Plus. Uh, the pally's, pally just hit 70, I, I've just started doing some of the quests in the Emerald Dream Zone so it's gonna be a while unless I find a way for like some quick gear catch up. I don't know like if there's any way to get him up to like 420 really quickly, maybe I'll have to look into some things. But yeah, as soon as we get him uh, geared up, I'd love to try on a, on a melee class. Do I have a favorite Dragonflight dungeon? Not yet. I, I haven't, like, played them all enough. Uh, season 4 is apparently going to be all Dragonflight dungeons for the Mythics. So in Season 4 I'll probably have, like, a better idea about, like, if I have a favorite uh, five man in Dragonflight. So far I don't, I don't have any that I dislike. 
Uh, but a lot of what we're doing for Mythic right now is like other, like we're doing like Legion and, and Warlords of Draenor, Cataclysm. There's a few other things in rotation besides Dragonflight ones. All right, this fight. This fight for me either goes really well or goes really poorly. I either feel like I'm doing good or I feel like I'm scrambling. Is there, like, what's the mechanic here with the light? I, I thought I had to stay in, like, a certain area of this, but now I'm not sure if this matters at all. Yeah, I guess I I thought I knew what was going on here, but I, I don't think that I do. <laughs> I, I don't think I actually know what's going on here with the rotating of the thing. I thought I had to stay in a certain area of it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. This is much easier if I don't have to run around like a mad person. Count the seconds. Your time has ended. Sands of time, I call upon you. I, I almost lived. I was like one tiny heel away from living. It was close. We almost survived. Oh man. How much is WoW monthly? It's $14.99 uh, USD. And it's been that way for 20 years. While the cost of everything in life has gone up, the cost of your WoW sub has stayed the same. And you get a lot more these days for your WoW sub. You get access to all kinds of different versions of the game for the same sub. You get Classic, Classic Hardcore, Classic Sod, Classic Wrath, Classic Cataclysm. You get Plunderstorm, you're gonna have Mr. Pandaria time running. Like, you get a lot for your sub you these days. For the same old price. Nope, the sub's always been a 1499 USD. Some people pay more and they do like six months at a time or they'll pay for like a year at a time and you, you obviously pay more for those, but yeah, month by month it's fourteen ninety nine.
Looks like we'll need to mop this up. Face enemies above and below. No Stormo! Alex Straza! Everyone! The Infinites are here, and we have to stop them! They wanna. Oh, oh, there's no time to explain. Very well, little dragon. My friends, with me! If Eridicron came here with the Infinites, then they must be working together. Oh, that's bad. Really bad. Can you scout ahead? I'll be with you in a moment. For the future of Azeroth. I 
There we go. Not bad. I, I think I got the hang of that fight now. <clears throat> I didn't die. I, I think I, I think I stacked up one time, like, when I was supposed to, but I think there was one time when I should have been stacked up that I was not stacked up, and I think I might have got one of our DPS killed because of that. So yeah, that might have been the one thing I did wrong there. A great vault slot upgraded to 470. Alex, the, the, the content you see me doing now, before three days ago, I had never done this type of content in my life. I've played WoW for 20 years. I, I've never played a Mythic Dungeon. I never tried to engage with this type of content. For the past, like, five or six years, I've been mainly a classic WoW player. So, like, even if you don't have a lot of experience, like, the game does a decent job of teaching you your class as you level up your class. And then the e easing into this kind of content is is not super hard. Like people's expectations, uh, despite what you might hear, their expectations are, are pretty tame. You know, they don't they don't expect you to know everything, see everything, do everything right. I would say like definitely you're gonna want to play a DPS class. Like don't try to tank or heal or fill any big roles in a group. Uh, just try to find a class that you like to DPS on. That way you can follow along, you can press your buttons, and uh, and hopefully have a good time. And yeah, and WoW's been around for 20 years, and it'll probably be around for 20 more. So, like, you know, the sooner you start playing, the uh, the better you'll f you'll feel about, like, your, your knowledge compared to other people. You just gotta get in and play. Uh, let's see. So, that was our key, which means that our key is now a 16 Everbloom. Wow, I don't know if I'm ready for a 16 Everbloom. 
we got what's with our rating today? We had all eights. We had eight 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 rating. Now we have one 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 rating. Ooh, look at this. Why is this one blue? Is my goal to get all of these blue? Do I want to do like a like a 14 and up on everything, right? Somebody said 15. Somebody told me I wanted to try to do like 15 key or or higher for everything. So 15 has kind of been my goal to uh, to get everything at least out of 15. Uh, with this key here, this is this is putting us in a good position to do just that. 16 Everbloom, um, that'll get that one. Um, after that, I, it'll change to something else, and I may lever it back down to 15 or 16, and then we can knock off, like, everything. We can get everything to 15 or 16. That would be, that would be ideal. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna stop right here for today. We've been at it for almost four and a half hours. It's been an amazing time. I'm having so much fun doing these runs. I, I can't say it enough how fun this has been. I really appreciate you guys being here for it. Without you guys being here and hanging out, there would be a lot less of me enjoying this content. So yeah, thank you guys so much. If you had a good time hanging out, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, making sure you ring the bell, all that stuff really does help me out a lot, and I really appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.